Hi everybody, Jay Martins here and I am excited because I'm talking to you about relaxation. Now, grab a, grab a pen and your favorite notebook because I'm going to talk to you about the secret relaxation technique that nobody else is talking about. Journaling. Alright. Now, you've got your journal and you write, you know, all of your emotional, heartfelt stuff in there, you know. And you've also got your journal, you know, keeping track of some of the projects you're working on, some of your ideas that you have as you go through your day. But one aspect of journaling that I think is highly underrated is having a section in your journal, whether it's at the end, at the beginning, uh, where you can just dump ideas and dump things that you need to do. Basically, you know, all these things that come across our minds, we're trying to multitask, we're trying to do all of this, and we're trying to keep track of all of it in our heads. And every time you try and focus on something, you're distracted by all these other things that are rattling around in there that you're trying not to forget. And your mind is going to hang on to every single idea that you need to complete or work on or what have you, and it's going to keep pushing it into the front of your consciousness so that you will actually deal with it or... If you write it down, it's kind of like dealing with it. Because then your mind, your subconscious, kind of gets placated and it says, well, it's written down, so I don't need to worry about it. It's been taken care of. So, get in the habit. If you've got, uh, you can either grab some like extra paper and just kind of like jam it in uh, into the back. You can use uh, cardstock. Just keep a card for each day with all the stuff that you're um, trying to keep track of on a daily basis. And then the important stuff put into your plan for the next day. Never hurts to have a Jahari window of the urgent and important matrix uh, in your journal as well. That just helps to keep things uh, prioritized as to what is important to you and what's urgent. So hopefully if you, if you look at journaling in kind of a new light and you think, if I journal and I, I keep a list in my journal so that I can find it, of all the things that are rattling around in my head, then that clears up a lot of headspace and a lot of mental headroom just so that you can focus on the task at hand. All right. Get those thoughts out of your head and onto the paper and go through that list at the end of the day right before you're uh, hitting the hay and, you know, skim through it. Some of the stuff may be important. Some of it may just be urgent stuff that's not even important and you can just let it go but relax because now you've got full use of your mind all those extra distractions are gone they're in your journal so they're not going anywhere and if it is important you'll get to it just not right now and you can relax be in the moment and enjoy being present and being creative in the moment have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.